Hello, I'm Greg Harrison with the USDA Market News Service here in St. Joe, Missouri with your National Feeder Cattle Summary this week. Compared to last week, available supplies of good yearling feeder cattle sold fully steady to $5 higher with the most gain seen in the northern plains. Demand is extremely good on the availability of these good grass yearlings and buyers are pushing to market where they're available, especially this week in South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, and Wyoming. Also this week, a majority of the receipts noted at some of our major markets, like at Oklahoma City and Joplin Regional Stockyards and Ozark Regional Stop Stockyards in West Plains, Missouri, reported a majority of the receipts, a lot of calves, a lot of new crop calves in this week's offering, and the calves trading mostly steady to $5 higher. In the southeast, calf market was trading unevenly steady from 5 higher to 5 lower. Yearling demand remains at its peak with a large number of buyers in the auction, especially in the northern plains on these good yearling cattle. Silage cutters are chopping away at a large and impressive crop of corn throughout the northern plains and midwest, along with plenty of hay and fall pasture should allow an opportunity for cheaper gains on a lot of these lighter weight cattle. Calf demand seems equally good, good this week, best on weaned and vaccinated calves throughout the country with an increased addition of farmer feeders in the market and feedlot buyers has in many cases created a competition in sale barns markets throughout the country. This week on Wednesday, buying was very optimistic at the Hub City Livestock Auction in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Had some very impressive sales of thin fleshed yearling cattle right off grass, selling with a very good demand. They sold 385 head of steers, averaging 837 pounds, with a weighted average price at $239.76. In, they're included in this long list of impressive sales. There were some thin fleshed yearlings, 464 head of steers, averaging 873 pounds with a weighted average price at 235.53. 700 head of steers averaging 935 pounds, so with a weighted average price at 227.32. Order buyers wanted possession of these good yearlings, and when quality and condition is very good, it's not to say they won't pay more when they scent on these good native yearlings. The potential for tight demand keeps cattle buyers active, but there is some questions and concerns of how strong beef demand will be throughout the fall season. We keep seeing this week box beef prices retreat. On Wednesday of this week, Choice Product closed at 245.91. That was the lowest close since the end of June. Live cattle futures keep in a state of flux, have good moves up one day, followed by a hard downturn the next. And fat cattle trade, we're still waiting to see uh, what will happen there this week. But looking into next week, we'll be watching some of the calf markets pretty close, especially these new crop calves that are coming to market, see if they can hold their value. This week, the value is pretty good on them, but at this time of year, they have a lot of health issues, and that's a major problem this time of year. The weaned and vaccinated calves will, as for the most part, hold their value at this time of year, but we'll see if these uh, new crop calves right off the cow that are carrying some flesh and uh, balling, uh, see if they can keep their values uh, next week. So anyway, that's the markets for this week. Be back next week and catch more markets at this website. Good talking with you. See you next week.